Hello, Pisces. Welcome back to There's That Tarot. Pisces. All the things she said. All the things she said running through my head. This is a song by Lena. Lena Katina. I'll just read the lyrics. I'm in serious shit. I feel totally lost. If I'm asking for help, it's only because being with you has opened my eyes. Could I ever believe such a perfect surprise? I keep asking myself, wondering how. I keep closing my eyes, but I cannot block you out. I want to fly into a place where it's just you and me, no one else, so we can be free. All these things she said running through my head. This is the other part, right? Ooh. The song that's playing right now is called Nemus. Nemus. Nemesis. Y'all ain't getting along no more. Something happened. I don't know. And it's like all the things you said are now running through this person's head. Who you done, Erica Badu? <laughs> yeah. So, some of you are dealing with cancer. I'm all mixed up feeling cornered and rushed. They say it's my fault, but I want her so much. <laughs> I want to fly her away where the sun and rain come over my face and wash away all the shame. You could be dealing with Aries too. The seven of swords in the reverse to the emperor. Wash away all the shame, all the things I've been trying to keep a straight face about. The thing that caused the distance between the two of you, the reason the relationship stopped. Was it a third party? Was it a lifestyle? That kept someone's life in the dark. Why would they want to isolate you in that way? They know that there was something that wasn't over in their life. Were you a secret, Pisces? When they stop and stare, don't worry. It doesn't worry me. Because I'm feeling for her and she's feeling for me. I can, I can try to pretend. I can try to forget. But it's driving me mad. Going out of my head. All the things she said, right? This part stuck out to me too. Daddy looking at me, will I ever be free? Have I crossed the line? <sighs> Why does that give me someone who really wanted the approval of their father? And maybe that approval never came. And whenever things go wrong in life, whenever things, you know, whenever I make a mistake, it's like, oof, have I crossed the line? It's like it, it goes back to this almost preambulatory pre stage. Like somebody goes right back to their childhood. Like, oh God, did I do it again? Is that the energy, Cancer? Ooh, Pisces. Some of y'all dealing with Cancer. Or Leo. Whatever the situation is, Pisces, it has um, it's taught you how to love yourself. That's for sure. Letting go of it is what taught you how to love yourself. Losing hope in it and gaining <clears throat> hope in yourself. And I think you knew this was something that had to go. Some of you were dealing with a Virgo. Virgo strong or fixed sign. Taurus energy is here too, but it's like, this is not something that I can put my energy into. Somebody has something that they were still holding on to from their past. And they still put work there and you could see that. Like it was obvious that somebody was still doing stuff. And it just, it's like it, it, it put the light back on you. Like, why am I putting up with this shit? And when you...
rejected this energy, when you pulled your love out of this energy, because it was killing your confidence, it was killing your, <laughs> your zhuzh, your, you know, your creativity. This person came back to fight for the missed opportunity. They didn't want to have this on their head anymore. It's like, but you really didn't have this on your head anymore. Not to say you didn't think about it. Not to say you didn't go through your process or whatever. But you're doing so well. With them, you weren't able to really open your heart. There was no trust there. There was no feeling of contentment there. You didn't feel safe in that connection. And you definitely weren't trying to compete. You feel better. You don't feel stuck anymore. You're invested in your own things. Because the more you invested in this person, which there was a very strong connection with, it didn't work because there was a lot that they weren't saying. There was a lot that hadn't ended within their emotions. Ooh, you may have found out somebody that they were dealing with was, is pregnant. What is this? Or that they were in a relationship. One that wasn't even doing well. Oh, no, 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 no. You felt their energy go somewhere. because I don't know. If you were the sad person, or they were. But somebody went... It, it's like something went cold here because someone else had the other person's attention. I don't know. Somebody... I don't know. Do people have velvet sheets? Something about the material of someone's bedding is like... Velvet? <laughs> There's something about velvet. What's going on, Pisces? That song really, like, that's something. So the way that this person feels about you, Pisces, is like you two just meet in the middle. It just works. The missing piece of the puzzle. But there's a lot of fear to do anything about it or to say anything about it or to move on it. So I avoid it altogether. It could be a Gemini, Leo, or a Scorpio that you're dealing with. Aries is here too. They hold back, they remain guarded. Even though you make them feel better, <laughs> you're like a wish come true for this person. You help them feel like, I can just let it all go, all the confusion, you know. All the things I've done wrong, like I can move on from them. But the thing about this, let's see. Also, it's like, I gotta let it all, this person has a lot of anxiety about having to let it all go. And they're confused by your inaction. They're, they're confused as to why you're staying away from them. They feel like you still love them, but they feel like it's over. Mm, they may view you as temptation or they may think that you view them like that. This person feels like you are very much in your masculine energy right now. Emperor energy. Kind of loving on yourself, moving on. Like, you know the answer. You got the keys. You're not moving forward on no shaky ground with this person. Someone's actions and emotions wasn't lining up. It's like, it's 
Somebody may have reconnected with someone from their past. They may have a child with this person and they're guarding that. But they feel stuck there. But they're trying to let go. I do see a new relationship. This person's trying to move on. And I feel like it's because you rejected them. After you found something out. That this hadn't ended. Possibly with a Gemini. So you walked away from a liar. Like you felt like they was lying. The way you feel about this situation, Pisces, is you're just not stuck on it no more. That's, that's your decision. Whether it's already happened internally or not, that's your decision. Is I'm not going to be stuck on this no more. Final answer. <laughs> I'm going to be happy. I choose to be happy. I got a lot of work. <laughs> I keep hearing that song. I got work to do. <laughs> And I, I don't have time to be attached to anything. This is burdensome for me. Like, this even being in my energy is burdensome for me. I'm ready to be over it. Was it a missed opportunity or was it an unstable one? Something like that. It's like you're not waiting on this person or their emotions anymore. Something about footprints. You know that this person lied to you about another connection, too. Queen of Pentacles, there's this a main person in their energy. You found out the truth, you let go. I'm not doing this with you. It's like what they didn't tell you. The mutual energy is that this person is still in a relationship, but they still want to act like they're not. <laughs> Two of Pentacles. Even if they're not in a relationship, there's someone heavily in this person's energy and they can't deny it. The card's not going to lie about it. But when the lights go off, Cancer. Who is this Cancer y'all dealing with? Pisces! When the lights go off, though, this person has Cancer in their chart. If you think they're a Leo, they're a Cancer. Or something. When the lights go off. All the things she said, all the things she said running through my head. How do they feel about the person that they're in a relationship with? <sighs> Trap. Queen of Swords in the reverse. Not a source in the reverse. They don't even feel like they can talk to this person. The way they feel about this person is it make them want to make things right with you. <laughs> Ooh, that's an insult. But it ain't an insult that I'm giving. You need to check him. Whoever's, whoever's you know, caught that. It's not, I'm not the insult. <laughs> that is the one that's insulting everybody in the equation, even himself, by not being true to himself. We end up hurting so many people for nothing. Oh, I hate it. But we all learn and we learn and we learn and we're growing. And I feel like this person is too, maybe after the fact, but they, there are no cups about how they feel about this person. The only cup that came out was the queen of cups, which is you man or woman and how disappointed they feel that things didn't move forward between the two of you I feel like they have love for this person but they don't want commitment with this person or maybe this person rejected them this person broke their heart <laughs> this could have been the person I feel like they cheated on this person with you so maybe they went back there and realized the same insecurities were there. Like, I feel alone even here. I'm not committed here. I'm avoidant here. I want to come back to you. I want to heal things. 
but you did you, you realized what was happening and that's what made you go into this you know what i mean it's like you no you walked away from this when you found out about them <laughs> basically and the way they feel about that person is, damn, I should have worked this shit out with Pisces. That's how they feel about them. They feel trapped in that situation. They are thinking a lot. All right. You have a certain glow about you right now, Pisces. And I feel like it's because your focus is elsewhere. <laughs> School, work, family, traveling blogging blogging whatever you do that's where your focus is and i feel like because you were feel i feel like whatever you found out that you put on this protective shell which i feel like is the emperor okay either that or you feel insecure about an aries but what you found out may have affected your confidence maybe confused you but the thing about it is it also was like the best thing that never happened to you or and the best thing that ever happened to you because it helped you to i don't know woke you up to something i feel like both y'all opened up opened each other's eyes and you know how you can't look at something the same after you know like, ignorance is bliss, but once you know, you can't unknow it. And it's helped you more than it's hindered you. I don't think you came out with the short end of the stick here, okay? But you had to, it's kind of like, you. you're not making me feel, I don't feel good when I'm talking to you. I don't feel good when I'm around you. So I stopped talking to you. And maybe because I still love you, I had to put this armor on. Because a lot of times it's hard to fight through that love. Um, but I can't love you. You've made it impossible for me to love you and me. <laughs> like, that's how much this person was taken up in your energy. And like I said, they dealing with somebody else anyway. Like, they can lie, but the cars ain't going to keep bringing out the same queen. That ain't you. It's not you. Because now there's you. Oh, my goodness. They were holding on to the Queen of Pentacles. And then that's why they weren't committing to you. And that's why you ended it. And that's why you don't trust them. And that's why you blocked them. And that's why you ran and switched your focus. Them holding on to this other person, maybe to feel better. But honestly, they're not feeling better because now you're gone. So they're, they're in conflict. The love is unrequited. It ain't going nowhere. They don't communicate very well. Or they lie to this person. And they will soon be detached from this person. Some of y'all are brewing some coffee. I'm drinking some coffee. Cheers. Don't be afraid to politely decline this person. Cancel. Jesus. This is Pisces. I'm aware <laughs> that I'm talking to Pisces. Okay, I'm, I promise you I know what the video I'm doing. What the hell is going on? Let me see something. This person is going to try to make something happen with you. Okay? New love and all that, but you don't trust it, so don't be afraid to decline. Okay? I think some of you were dealing with a man or a woman. You never know. Who uses people, men or women, whatever you date, whatever you're into, right? For financial reasons. But just for the sake of breaking it down, if there is a man who feels too comfortable asking you for money and y'all ain't there yet, y'all ain't. Because, I mean, think about where you need to be before you ask a person. Like, what kind of relationship or how far in you need to be with a person before we start sharing resources. You know what I mean? You just gauge that for yourself. I think time spent things underwent. But 
It depends. It depends on where I'm at. I might be up at the moment. Maybe I don't need it back. I don't know. But when, I don't know, it gets tricky with finance and stuff like that, right? So, a man that uses women for finance, um, I feel like there was somebody who wanted to be the girl. It's like maybe the, the roles were kind of like, ain't this what I'm supposed to be doing or I'm supposed to be saying? And I'm not doing it or saying it. So, why are you kind of thing? This is somebody who asked for way too much before there was a solid commitment, if there ever was a plan to be. This could be someone who didn't have a whole lot of friends, because why is they asking you? You know what I mean? Like, you had at least 10 people before you got to me. And if you skipped all of those people, maybe they, either they're not there, and that gonna make me look at you sideways, or they all said no, and that's going to make me look at you sideways, too. I think you peeped a lot of things in this connection, and you started fixing yourself before it ended, or that's what you need to do. A lot of you may have been dealing with a Virgo. And it's like there's been a lot of distance between you and this person, and you're afraid to... Um, to join forces with this this Virgo. Why? Because of what you found out. November could have been significant. Maybe something like something part of the process is I don't know. Maybe you started, you know, the, the pieces started kind of adding up. You started connecting the dots maybe in November. There's somebody who was saying that they had a lot more than they did. Okay. And I feel like this person may be broke. And they could have been using you as a distraction, but this person was worried about money. And there was somebody who was blocking them from coming towards you, too. Or maybe in November, you started to realize that, ooh, I'm, perpetu I'm perpetuating my own misery by continuing to deal with this person. And maybe that's when you start making your plan to walk away from this connection. Some of y'all got cancer in your chart. It's just there. Um, but there, this is somebody whose energy does not agree with yours. It's like you may have constantly felt in the dark. The bad was outweighing the good. And so you had to make a decision about it. Is this person with me for stability? So you could have been dealing with a Leo who definitely didn't know what he had till it was gone. Paradise. Like paradise. What'd she say? I gave you all the love I got. I gave you more than I could give. Oh, that's no ordinary love. Paradise is, um, I feel like you probably did, though. I gave you all the love I got. I gave you all that I could give. I gave you love. I gave you all that I had inside. And you took it. <laughs> You took my love. Didn't I tell you what I believe? Did somebody say that a love like that won't last? Didn't I give you all that I got to? Give you, baby. I don't know. Something about paradise, though. But I feel like with this person, you only had a piece of mind. And I mean P-I-E-C-E, -E. <laughs> not P-E-A-C-E. -E. Uh, you didn't have peace of mind with this person. If you're dealing with a cancer, this is probably somebody who projected themselves as better than you. <laughs> and anytime somebody does that, they ain't got good intentions. They don't. You couldn't. You know what I mean? So I feel like there's a lot of creative pursuits that you work on in order to move on from things that maybe haven't ended within your energy. Because I feel like you're doing very well right now. And there are a lot of people who want to come back towards you because of this energy that you're giving off. Be careful about sitting in the past with those people, though. You know they weren't making you happy. You know that 
those connections wouldn't have made you happy. You know why they needed to stop. Take this time to rest, Pisces. Take this time to rest. Look at it all. Examine it all. Okay? Don't hold on to none of it, though. Put that love back into you. Let go of the control that you may feel. Oh, the past. Oh, the memories. Oh, that. <laughs> I know that what you wanted was something better than this, right? But you need to take time to feel better, to deal with the trust issues. However far back you have to go in order to do that. Even if that's just incorporating five minutes of meditation in the morning. Three minutes. However long you feel like you can sit there and <laughs> be quiet, you know. Look at all the things that lacked foundation. There's a part of these people that scared you. You'll see the truth as to why all of this had to come tumbling down, okay? And then from, from there on, from then on, I feel like you'll be a lot more discerning when somebody just shows up as a shell of what you're looking for versus somebody who actually possesses the meat and potatoes. And it'll be a lot easier for you to walk away from those teens that don't reciprocate the energy that you're looking for that don't you know how you got the background singers and they're supposed to be in harmony and somebody's a little flat like you catch that shit just like a musician would or you know what i mean a music lover like ooh, ooh. you know what i mean it's like we can't even when somebody's flat it's like you cannot i don't care how good the song is you know i'll be at a concert and, and something go wrong um, on the stage. And because you know what it's like on the stage, because you got experience now, okay? You done been there and done that already. And, and the things that the audience kind of misses, like, oh, guitar string pop, somebody went flat. Um, maybe the speaker, the monitor went out for, for the bass player, you know, and nobody caught it or the, or, or the drummer's drumstick flew across the flew across the stage and just missed one of the background singers head thank god because that would have really hurt don't nobody notice all of that shit but but when you're experienced and you know what's going on up there you're like oh they played that off they played that off real good this is the kind of discernment that you're going to have moving forward when you start to see people show up who fit the profile but not necessarily the assignment <laughs> okay <laughs> i was gonna i was thinking about something I thought about, so, okay, as far as the approval trap, because I feel like it's with this song, it says, Daddy looking at me, will I ever be free? Have I crossed the line? Um, you know, a lot of us have daddy issues. And because there's so much Virgo energy in this reading, um, it just made me think about my dad. My dad's a Virgo. <laughs> yeah, my dad's a Virgo. And, um... I never, I never sought the approval. I can't say that. If anything, I feel like it was the other way around. Because I had kind of taken on this shell. Is that the Aries energy that I'm feeling? It's like I kind of took on this shell. Like, well, shit. Not you owe me, but you don't owe me. How about that? You don't owe me nothing. You didn't feel like you owed me anything, so there's that, right? But there was like a, a, a period in life. Oh, well, it's not a period in life. I feel like there's always been like a... Did you approve of that? Coming from my dad towards me. And I think my attitude of... No, I don't have to. I don't have to prove anything to you. My presence is not required. This and this and that. And there was a little bit of resentment there, but it, it did. It like it. It from the resent. I don't know. I feel like it made me who I am. It made me strong. But it, it that approval trap can go either way. So daddy's looking at me. Will I ever be free? Have I crossed the line? I feel like there's someone who was really afraid of making mistakes, but that stems back to their childhood. For me, it's the opposite. I'm the Pisces. Vedic astrology, Sun and Venus. My father, the Virgo, 
who's kind of seeking did I do it right because he was not in my life so let's I mean I, I think you guys put that together <laughs> he's, he's you know it's been in and out and I feel like that's this and I just feel like whether it's a father daughter you know lover friend whatever this is Sag. Somebody here is seeking the approval of someone. There may be a Sagittarius in your life who is very talented, but they they got a lot of um they have sex with a lot of people, so be careful about that. And if they leave you on red or anything like that, damn. You know what I mean? You're not nobody's damn rag doll. A lot of misdirected energy there. This Virgo, you have not forgiven them. I feel like they were very rude to you. Or well, I don't know how that went, but this is someone who took you for granted. I feel like they also hated on everybody and everything about your life. <laughs> like, and maybe not uh, overtly, but covertly. Like, I was, I was in a car with a Virgo, you know. And it's like, this person was doing me a favor, and I appreciated that, and I said that, and I actually paid for that. But I, I had brought someone up, you know, just in conversation. I wasn't talking shit about this person or anything. It was just like some, no, no, no. They brought up something because they saw somebody that I knew. And this person had invited us over for dinner open up their home you know what i mean like good people you know what i mean and he saw this particular person out in public having an issue with some paperwork or something like that and this person this virgo says i don't know if the i don't know if the person's dumb or what but it just seemed like he he didn't know what he was doing i mean is he is he kind of slow the fuck Pull over. I need to get out of this hating ass car with you. This insecure. What like what was that even? You know what I mean? Why'd you have to shit on that person? So this could have been an energy too. And I I mean, I don't know if y'all like me as a Pisces, but I ain't fucking with it. I don't deal with people who just feel like they gotta shit on other people for free. You know what I mean? You got to really come for me. And I'm still not gonna sit there and talk shit about you. But I'm a queen of I'm a queen of swords. Your head off with the truth. Everything I say to you gonna be true. You know what I mean? And I ain't gotta say a cuss word or nothing. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you the truth, cause that is what a person like that. That's like kryptonite. Like ah, I'm melting, like the witch on the uh, the Wizard of Oz. I melt, you just gonna see their feet curl right back up under the damn ground where they belong. Not to say somebody belongs underground, but you know what I mean? Crawl your ass, your evil ass back up under that damn house. It's gross. You're stinking up the room with that type of, you know what I mean? And I don't care who that offends, because it's wrong. There was no reason for him to say that. It was ugly. So Pisces. And I also feel like maybe this was someone who listened not to understand, but to respond. You know, somebody who always trying to one-up your damn story? Why would you want your life to be worse than what I just told you? You know what I mean? Like, can I just have my moment? <sighs> you're frustrated. You're over it. <laughs> oh, my auntie's calling me. I'm going to have to wrap this up. Some of you may have been dealing with a Taurus, too. It's my Taurus auntie, so y'all know I'm going to have some good to talk about when I, when I see y'all again. Every time I talk to my Tauruses, I, it just gives such great feedback. Stand up for yourself, my love. Get rid of this drama because you are slowly moving towards what it is that is stable for you. The Ten of Pentacles. The more you move into a peaceful direction, the bigger your bank account is going to be. On a, on a monetary level, on a spiritual level, on like your 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 bank is growing. The more you get rid of these people, who you don't even feel comfortable putting your heart into the situation, and that ain't your style anyway, Pisces. So, the numbers eleven or twelve could be significant to you. 
Uh, some of you could have been dealing with Aquarius too because they're in it. That you pulled the same card that they pulled, but I pulled you another one. So their card was don't seek anyone's approval, right? People are always gonna have their expectations of what they think you're gonna be, but the only approval you need is your own, right? Your card says paint the sun back into your sky. Don't build a home that will come crumbling down if a single person walks out of the front door. When it comes down, wait, when it comes down to it, we can't spend, ah, let's start over. Don't build a home that will come crumbling down if a single person walks out of the front door. Who the hell is all these people calling me? I'll call them back, okay. When it comes down to it, we can't depend on other people to make us happy or fulfilled. The fact that people are going to leave from time to time. The fact is that people are going to leave from time to time and you're only <laughs> you're the only one who's guaranteed to stay. What? Oh, yeah, you're the only one who's guaranteed to stay. Take your <laughs> take your time to find sources of joy outside of your loved ones. You deserve happiness that lasts. And when you're full of yourself, you attract things that stick in your life. You know what I mean? Not necessarily people. It's just love. We got friends here. The song that's playing right now is called Friends. Not to say you want to, I don't know. Y'all know what I mean. <laughs> And I can read. I just couldn't read right then. I don't know what that was about. But Pisces. You're the only ones I did this with. <sighs> exactly. I felt the need to do this. Just because they can afford you doesn't mean that they can value you. I think that was the point, right? Pisces, I'm going to leave it there. Like, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.